Hi, my name is Laura Askill and I am the Ag Ed Farm Manager with Metro Parks of Butler County. And we're going to be visiting two very special animals at this farm. We're located at Chris Holm Metro Park, Chris Holm Historic Farmstead. And if you've never been out here, our address is 2070 Woodsdale Road, Trenton, Ohio 45067. Now I do have a mask, but I'm not wearing it properly at the moment because there isn't anybody around with me. But if I come across a park customer, I will make sure that I put my mask on properly and of course keep the six foot social distancing apart. Let's go see if we can find the goats. So one of the first things that you will see when you come to Chris Home Historic Farmstead is the sign. And then after you pull into the driveway, you go up the hill to one of the parking lots. Today we're gonna to focus on the farmscape which includes the pasture area and the beautiful Red Bank barn. So we have two agouti pygmy goats that live here at the farm. One is a gray agouti and the other is a black agouti. They both just turned a year old. So let's all wish them a happy birthday. Our boys are a lot of fun to work with and they enjoy interacting with people too. You will notice that goats like to eat a lot. Well, they are ruminants, which means they have a four compartment stomach, which is similar to cattle and sheep. How awesome is that to have four parts to your tummy? This is advantageous because mammals generally can't digest plant material properly to get the full nutrient value from them. So having extra sections in your tummy helps this process out too. Well, like I mentioned, the goats are very friendly and love scratches. They are brushed daily to help keep their fur clean. They even have tickle spots too. If you scratch the right spot, they will stomp their feet and stick their tongue out, which is very cute. Our goat's favorite browse is a non-native honeysuckle that unfortunately grows all over Butler County. So we are happy to cut those branches down and feed the goats. Our goats are playful and very active, so we like to offer enrichments such as climbing on the logs or chewing on the logs, and we take them walks on leashes too. See their feet? Goats are even-toed ungulates, which means they have two toes on each foot, which is called a hoof. We do have to trim those hoofs every now and then. Let's go check out the paddocks inside the barn, shall we? Because when it's raining outside, the goats do not like to go out. So they have inside recess, and this is where they sleep. This is a mineral block that our goats like to lick, which helps round out their diet needs too. Besides eating honeysuckle, the farm staff feeds our goats hay, goat pellets, alfalfa cubes, corn, seeds, fresh veggies and fruits, and their all-time favorite goat licorice treats. And of course, they get fresh water two times a day, which helps maintain their healthy diet. Did you see our Dutch rabbit? We like to socialize the animals together. Here are some of the tools that we use every day to help clean their paddocks. We also have hay in the hay feeder and we've got goat feed in the pellet container. And trust me, if either one of these start to get low, they will let us know. Goats can be very vocal when they want to be. And at nighttime, they cuddle together in this nice, dry, warm pile of straw inside this beautiful 1800s Amish Mennonite bank barn. So next time you are here at Chris Home Historic Farmstead, make sure you stop by the farmscape to visit with the goats. Thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with us here at Chris Home Metro Park, Chris Home Historic Farmstead area and learning a little bit about our two pygmy goats that we take care of here at the farm. We look forward to seeing you soon. We'd like for you to log off, shut down and get outside. Look forward for our next topic, which will be about our common milkweed that grows here in Metro Parks of Butler County. Thank you.